It's already this late. I'm Brennan. I'm Jordan. I must hurry. <laughs> wow. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, you're... Oh, you're supposed to be dead. No money. I refuse to flinch. <laughs> Why would you flinch? You're like made of the like... You got like some weird goiter hump on your back. This guy's really... Oof. He's also eating your drums. No matter how long you follow me, it's not gonna do any good. No matter how long you follow me, it's not gonna do any good. What are you doing? Are you supposed to just talk to him? Uh, am I supposed to go back up? Oh, I hope not. Can you just get ready for some fast forwarding, man? Yeah, Jordan done some stupid stuff. And also, why do you get narrower as you go faster? Uh, that doesn't make any sense, physics! You can't go in there, you gotta get that guy above you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You're just fantastically dastic. Oh, look at that face. It's all like, hey, welcome to this place. Why don't you just beat the kid? Uh, well, I'd love to. But you gotta put him to sleep. Because his dad's dead or something. Yeah. He's all sad about that. It's like my dad's dead. It's like my dad's dead. Where daddy I'm cold. Uh, uh, Darmy, where's daddy? Hey, yo, calm down, kid. I don't have the song. Where do you get it? From the dude. But I don't have the song. Well, I don't know what you gotta do. Do you gotta play something for that dude? No, I I think I gotta I think I have to go see that the kid was crying and uh, making a lot of noise, and now I that got... that map looks like a stomach. <laughs> that map. Oh man, I don't even know. Some kind of weird figure eight. No, but it's like a. You didn't let me look at it long enough. That looks like. Oh. These are really hard to determine. <laughs> it's like some kind of weird pumpkin. Oh, I, I saw that one. Pumpkin with a little road in front of it. Now this one. I still think it looks like Now that I've thought about this a little bit more, I can see a cow on its side. Oh, yeah, it's see a cool dude, like a dog or a bison. Or a cow lifting its leg to pee from behind. <laughs> and that little heart there is the bum hole. Okay. I think that's the best one. I think that's pretty good. Or it could be a dog with a really fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> lifting his leg to pee. <laughs> and again, the little square is the bumble. That is the cabin, but... Yeah. <laughs> bumble. This map is officially called Dog Peeing Fat Ass Bumble. <laughs> that's a good name for it. I like it. Well, you know what it means. I, I do. <laughs> I was here for you naming it. This dog, and it almost looks like the dog's like looking back, like, "Yeah, you like what you see back there." <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? It does a little bit. Yeah. God, it's so weird. Why do I see that? Uh, you, you hey, just... where's that weird guy with the goiter hump? What? Where's goiter hump? I don't, know what, I don't know who you're talking about. The giant hump guy. Oh. Old man. I, do you know what a goiter is? No, not a clue. Put a, Cornelius, put a picture of a goiter right now. Basically a... a oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that worked for you, didn't it? I'm going to get a picture of a goiter. They're kind of disgusting. <laughs> well, uh, why would... Why would I want to see a picture of a goiter then? Well, it's because you need to know what that guy looks like. See, goiter. Hold on, I'm driving around trying to... Whoa. Yeah. Alright. That's weird. Told you, there, it's like a thyroid thing. But that's kind of what that guy has going on. Only it's on his back. He's either got a really big tumor, or really big... Maybe Goron's turn into rocks when they get older. There we go. What? 
my son is crying because he misses me. That's your Why? son? No, I mean, who did you have sex with to make that? Who would want to have sex with you? No offense, man, but you are not exactly attractive. Just saying. I watched a really interesting movie last night. Which movie? Enemy. Never Jake, heard of it. With Jake Gyllenhaal. It was Jake like, Gyllenhaal is a good actor. Um, it's really weird. It was like this guy who talks about like uh, yes. chaos in society. I don't really care about this. Tom, telling a story. All right, continue. Well, you already interrupted. I lost it. It's about this guy. So he basically is like a professor, and he talks about like chaos and like how like governments will suppress the populace, right? So like in ancient Rome, it was entertainment, right? Yep. And then like in some like tyrannical societies, it's like lack of education, all that stuff, right? Right. But then like, so he talks about chaos, and then like it kind of goes through like his day where it seems like he does the same thing every day. Right. And then he sees a movie because, I don't know, a fellow professor like recommends this movie to him. And he sees an actor in it who's a bellhop who looks exactly like him. Right. And then he does some investigating because he, he's disturbed by this. And then he calls the house and the wife answers and she thinks it's the husband. Oh. Was, and then, and then yeah, and then he calls again and the husband answers and they sound exactly oh. like and they're super confused. And then... They, well, he gives him his name. So the the professor's name is Adam, and the other guy is, is Anthony. Right. And then, so basically, Anthony gets, like, Adam's name and where he works. Yeah. And writes down his address. And then the wife steals the note from his pocket and goes and sees him and, like, talks to him. But, of course, Adam doesn't recognize her because, but she's, like, kind of, like, shocked at the fact that they look exactly alike. And they have, like, Anthony and Adam have con conflicting person. I'm spoiling this whole movie, so <laughs> if you don't want to hear, I guess just fast forward till I'm done talking. Or mute it. Or mute it. Cornelius, put up a time when I stop talking about it. That's safe. Um, so basically, they have, con well, they don't have, compl so basically Adam is kind of, like, withdrawn and shy, and yep. Anthony's kind of, like, a, a more forward and kind of almost a little bit of a bully. And like they finally meet up, and and Adam is freaked out by it, and but Anthony wants to learn more. Right. So Anthony starts stalking Adam, and sees he has a a girlfriend, and then like he comes up with this idea that he's going to force, An well Adam, like he's gonna be forceful and say ask him like did he screw his wife or whatever, and then he's like this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put on your clothes. And I'm going to take your girlfriend on a weekend. So basically, he's going to screw Adam's girlfriend. Does that make sense? Right, yeah, okay. And then, so that happens, and he takes off his wedding ring. And then, while all that, then they go to a hotel room. And basically, Adam works up the courage to go to Anthony's house. <laughs> right. So, like, but he's, like, all withdrawn and doesn't really want to do it. Right. And then... In the end, what happens, ends up happening is, while Anthony's having sex with Adam's girlfriend, she sees the finger thing, and then she's, like, freaked out by it, and somehow it's like, it's not Adam, but it is. It's it. So then they leave, but then the wife wakes up, Anthony's wife wakes up and sees that Adam is crying on the couch, but she thinks he's Anthony, right? Right. Because they look exactly the same, sound exactly the same, and uh, they have sex. So, but then, when Anthony is driving home, there's construction, and they he gets in an argument with the girlfriend right. of Adam, and they get in a car crash, and both of them die. Oh, shit. And then, this, believe me, this movie was, like, <laughs> really weird, and, like, Hall plays the role really well, because there's a part in the movie when they're in the same hotel room, and that's kind of like a visual trick they had to play. Yeah. But he plays both characters so well in the hotel room, it feels like two different characters right. that look exactly like looking at each other. Right. So it's kind of freaky. And it's based on a book, I think, called The Double. Right. Um, but, um, and then basically what happens is, is Anthony or Adam is having a conversation with Anthony's wife. Right. Who still thinks he's Anthony. Right. And he's, like, putting on Anthony's clothes, and then... Um, so they're having this conversation and then 
he asks her a question and he goes into the room and there's lots of theming of like spiders and like webs controlling society and all that stuff right and this is where it gets where i was just like okay so like this is really near the end of the movie so basically what happens is he walks in the room and there's a giant tarantula in the room and it like recoils in fear from him and all his reaction is is he kind of sighs like it's another dream oh because he has all these weird dreams and then the movie ends weird yeah it was really good and like such a bizarre movie and like a very interesting character i'm really glad i watched it to the end because but like the ending i was like well i have to think about this and like i still can't get the movie out of my head because it was just such a an interesting premise well yeah it's just stuff which one is it which one is it which one is it which one is it you miss you suck but yeah now you can, I'm done. Spoilers are over, Cornelius. <laughs> that was only six minutes. <laughs> uh, hope none of you wanted to watch Enemy, because I just spoiled the whole thing. <laughs> it's a very good movie. Well, they could always rewatch it uh, and, like, see for themselves how interesting this movie is. Fuck. I don't, I'm not going to get enough speed off that. Well, let's do a fast-forward montage here, because the episode's going to end soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we found it. Yeah, look at that landing <laughs> right on the railing. Let's go deliver the rocks sirloin. Time for another montage music. That doesn't look like a sirloin. Do you know what a sirloin is, Nintendo? No. Obviously not. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> is this guy singing? I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I'm very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. <laughs> That's it, it's so good at that dream about it. The dawn goes camera and finds the quality rock star line. This came all the way from Hyrule? This is my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. Is that the noise of someone uh, eating something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my energy has returned to me. I'm coming down now, please wait a moment. How did you get up there in the first place? How was that that hard to get down from? <laughs> oh, I didn't get to sing that song part. Sorry. It's all good. You can skip it. No. He's not eating anymore, so he has left. Why would I know you? Are you the guy with the mole on the... No, that's your ear. Never mind. Yeah. We got this mass is too small Giro's for mass. my... Don Garrow's man. Sorry. I think it's Garrow. Hmm. Crafted so well that no one would ever think twice if you were to direct the frog Unless choir. Unless you were to do it while you're a Goron. I hope that spring will come soon. It'll never come. I hope. Just like you. <laughs> it's so cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. Alright, bye. Thanks bye. for that lazy asshole. Uh... Yo. Dog. This way? Mm on the next episode we, we will, will head to snowhead and then it's gonna that's double head double header to the next video to the next video <laughs>